a message. Please listen to this message. I have a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. The message unto you I'll give. Oh yes. Tis recorded in his word. Hallelujah. only that you look and live look and live my brother live look to Jesus now and live oh yes tears recorded in his word I have a message full of love, hallelujah, a message, oh my friend, for you, it mm. is a message from above, hallelujah, look to Jesus, who is recorded in his word hallelujah hallelujah it is only that you look and live oh yes hallelujah life is offered unto you hallelujah
Hallelujah. Hey, the Lord is good and his mercies endure forever. And so this is Peter having an experience. In Matthew chapter 14, verse 22 to 32. It says that immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. And after he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. And later that night, he was there alone. And the boat was already a considerable distance from land buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it and shortly before dawn Jesus went out to them walking on the lake hallelujah and when the disciples saw him walking on the lake they were terrified it's a ghost they said and cried out in fear but Jesus immediately said to them take courage take courage it is I don't be afraid <laughs> and then Peter said Lord if it is you tell me to come to you on the water hey and Jesus said come 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 and then Peter got down out of the boat he walked on the water and came towards Jesus hey and this happened whilst he was looking at Jesus while Peter was focused on Jesus he was walking on water but something happened in verse 30 it says but when he saw the wind he was afraid and began to sink and he cried out Lord save me oh thank you Lord Peter took his focus of Jesus he stopped looking at Jesus and he started to concentrate on the strong waves that were blowing left right and he was afraid he became afraid he became afraid and so he began to sink. Beloved, there are many times in our lives that we take our gaze of Jesus. We stop looking in his beautiful face. We turn to the left. We turn to the right, looking for solution from men when we have access to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Beloved, today, begin to pray in your heart. Ask the Lord to help you to look up to him only to him and live and so immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him and he said you of little faith why did you doubt so this is the problem doubt 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 this is what causes us to look left and to look right beloved if you take a stand or if you say that you believe in God you need to take that stand hallelujah it's easier said than done. We say that we believe in him, but when it comes to practicality, we must be doers of our word. Mm, yes, and it is only that you look and live. And Jesus gave us this caution in Luke chapter 17, verse 32. He said, remember Lot's wife. What happened to Lot's wife? In Genesis 19, a command was given, do not look back. Do not look back. And so, beloved, keep your focus on Jesus. Look to Jesus and live. Because if you look back, if you look to the right, if you look to the left, it is possible that you will perish. So look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Oh!
Yeah.